My teacher told us to get ready. My heart's pounding. I smell the lay on my neck. We're starting to walk down. I see the crowds. I'm getting nervous. What is happening? Turn and talk to your partner and tell them what's happening. Whisper. Okay, Kai, you can talk to me. Hold on, bud. Yeah. How do you know what's the evidence? Because you have the ending. And then you say that you smell the name. Okay, good job. All right. Could anybody tell me what was happening? I think it's made it because you're nervous and you're walking down. You think it's made it? Did everyone have the same answer? Yes. No, you're not. Did you have a different answer? What was your answer? I thought it was for speech. It was for speech? Yeah. Okay, what were the clues that it was made it? What was the evidence? Yeah? Um, you're, if you're nervous, dance. You're nerv I'm ner I might be nervous about the dance. There's a big crowd. What was the other evidence? You smelled the flower. I smelled the flower. So usually, is there, th you're right. If you're going to give a speech, there is a big crowd. You are nervous. But no. I mean, in Hawaii, though, I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. that you, they give you a lay. Mm -hmm. So that would have been a good First answer, too. But usually, is your teacher telling you guys to get to come on? No. No, OK? So that's the skill or strategy that we're working on. Good readers, eyes on me, please. Good readers need to think about other things than just what the author's telling them. They need to make inferences. Do you remember what an inference is? Turn and talk to your partner, see if you can try to remember. Can you three talk? Actually, you can talk to me. Go ahead. Inference is like when you read in like between the words. In between the words, that's close. That's close. What does that mean, though? It means like, like, like if you don't read like, like a long word, then you read, read the um, flat sentence and the bottom. You're thinking about definitions. You're thinking about definitions. That's not, that's not inferencing. So that's, if you can't read, if you don't know a word and you read around it, that's trying to figure out the definition. But what about inferencing? Inferencing. Okay, reset. Remember how we're sitting when we're ready? We're ready? Someone I haven't heard from. Leolani. Reading between the lines. What does it mean to read between the lines, though? Um, it means to, if you don't know a word, you can change and see what word fits in it. Would you agree or disagree with that? Does reading between the lines mean to change the word? Mm. I think you're... You have you're, the same word, but um, try to find a word that has the same meaning, but... Yeah. Does anyone know what strategy Le um, Lariel is working, uh, talking about? Yes. That's a different strategy, but you're correct. What strategy is that? Definition. That's a definition of a word. But yeah. today we're making it an inference, okay? So I'll give you an example. It's like the girl by No, the no, no. Tail. Okay. So... Just tell me, I just want you to look at this box, okay? Tell me what you see. Just describe what you see. Describe what you see, yeah. A girl riding, is she riding up the hill yet though? So we see, what do we see? Just using our eyes, what do we see, yeah? You see, you see that you, she's about to go up the hill? Yeah, so what is she on? A bike. Okay, and what else do we see? A hill. Okay, so there's this thing when you read. It's called thick and thin, okay? When something is thin, you only it's really small. And as a reader, you don't want to be a thin reader. What you guys did is you just told me what you exactly see. You see a girl on a bike, you see a hill. And the sun. You didn't tell, and the sun. You didn't tell me anything more. That's called thin reading. What I want you guys to be, get in the habit of is becoming thick readers. By thick, show me what thick looks like. Yeah, this is thin. This is thick. There's a lot more when it's thick. So now, I want you to inference about this girl. So, what an inference actually is, is, is when you use your schema. Do you guys remember what schema is? Yes. What is schema? Um, when you use your knowledge from before. You use your knowledge from before, and that's why I drew the sprain. Because it's what, what do I already know about this topic? You know so here, what should you be thinking about? You know, a girl riding. A girl riding. Like about to go up the hill. Okay, so you, that's the thin, right? Mm -hmm. That's we know there's a girl, and we know there's a hill. But I want you to know, use your brain. What do you know about hills, and what do you know about a girl riding a bike? Okay, not right now. Uh, then you use what you know in your head. 
and then you use clues from the text or selection. So for this one, we're not using the words, we're just using our visual illustrations. Clues. Okay, so we're going to use clues from the, from the illustration. Then, to make an inference, it's, it's called read between the lines. So you're trying to say, okay, what is the author trying to tell me without really telling me? It's, what is the author giving you clues about? Okay, so let's talk about this girl right now. Can you hand me that whiteboard, please, sweetheart? Okay, so let's talk about this girl. Then, we know she's riding a bike. We know there's a hill, okay? That's the clues from the selection, okay? Now I want you to use your background knowledge. What do you know about bike riding? Okay, what do you know about bike riding? Larry You can ride fast and it would be probably tiring to ride up a hill. So you can be fast, you would be tired. What else do we know? We know that you, um, when you, you have to keep practicing. Okay. That's right. Let me practice. Well, I'm going to challenge you. Would she be practicing here? No. No, no it, she's actually interested she, by like a bike first for the like Christmas and she doesn't know how to buy a bike. Is that what's happening in this story though? Are you using clues from the selection right here? Okay, so do we, if you're going up a hill, would you think, do you think the girl's just practicing up a hill or do you think she already knows how to ride a bike? Yeah, so you need to she use the clues, from, and the clues from the selection, okay, sweetheart? That was a good um, guess, but we want to use the clues from the selection to tell me about this girl, White. okay? So we know that she could be fast, tired. So I'm going to erase practice, slow. okay? Why would she be slow? Like, maybe she tried to keep steady before she just yeah, runs go. fast and okay. then she's going to trip. So I'm going to ask you, how she's feeling here, would it be different from when she's up here? Yes. Okay. Because she'd be more tiring. So she'd be more tired here? She needs water. She might need water? Why does she need water? She might be a little bit happy because she made it. Okay, she's, she need, might need water. She's happy because she made it. Okay. Snacks. She Maybe needs, snacks. So you could like She needs water because so when she get hot, she can drink okay. the water. So did the author tell you all these things? Or the, the illustrator, did, she, did he tell you? Clues. So that's an inference. That is an inference, okay? We're, we're using our thick, we're, we want to be thick thinkers and using the clues from the story or the illustrations Try to figure out what the author is giving you clues about. So here, she might. How might she be feeling? She's that, a. She, if she's going to do a whole happy, hill. Happy. Like she, maybe. Would you agree? Does anyone agree with Kikailo that she's happy right there? Mm. How would you feel? Remember, you want to use your background knowledge. How would you feel if you're about to climb this enormous hill? How she might you happy. feel? I might feel a little bit kind of. Can we have happy. still? Would you be tired right before you start? No. Right? Where would you be tired, sweetheart? When you start, in the middle, or the end? Think about when you bike. Are you tired before you even start? The middle or the end? Maybe the middle, right? So think about how she's feeling right now. How is she feeling right now? She's feeling kind of nervous or scared. Maybe nervous or scared, right? And she might still even feel ner nervous and scared here, right? Because, because she's going to make fall yeah. off. But how, what other emotions is she feeling right now? Okay, Kai. She might be feeling like tired and then she's going down. She's, she's like happy because she made it. Yeah, she's happy, right? When she goes down, she's going to go slow. Because <laughs> Will she, she be going slow though here? No, no she's tired. That's It'd be really fast. It would be really fast even because it's pedaling. a... Because it's, it's a that one hill. What is hill around? So is that things the author told us, or is that an inference that we made? Inference. Okay. What is an inference then? Turn and talk to your. I want you to tell your partner what an inference is without using the word inference. So when I ask you to make an inference, what am I asking you to do? You're asking. Oh wait. Us. Turn and talk to your partners. Can you whisper to me, bud? Asking us to like um. Like, like some words to describe something like, like read, read in between something. the line. But what does it mean to read in between the lines? Like describe you come across get. this word and it's something you don't know. Then you You're still getting mixed up with definitions. We're not looking at unknown words right now. 
right? So. What are we looking at? We're looking at what the author's telling us clues about. Oh, um, but the, the, um, it's like when you, when somebody draws a picture, then you have to figure out, figure out what she's doing in the, what she's going up or down and, um, Okay, so I think we might need some help with your definition. Let's see, who can help Kikai with his definition? Who can help Kikai with his definition? So, I think he's still getting confused with unknown words or definitions and what an inference is. So what is an inference? Like some... Can we set like this? ...to describe what he never, the author never heard. What? Yeah, exactly that. It's, you're telling me about the story to describe what the author never really put. So you're, you're using words to describe what the author is trying to tell you, okay? So sometimes we won't use illustrations. Sometimes we'll use words. And most of the time, oh, I think I just shared <laughs> it. Um, what words, using these words, figure out what the author is trying to tell you. Can somebody read it out loud? Sleep. Loud and proud. I can't sleep. Sweat? Sweat was dripping from my head. Tissues were everywhere. What's happening here? She is sick. How do you know? What's the clues? Because she can't s sleep and the tissues. Yeah, the tissues were the big clue. The, okay. Like, All right. Can you hand out a whiteboard to everyone, please? I have the markers for you already, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. I, I made it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes, bud. Yeah. Okay, what did I say? If there's a color there, what did I say? I said ignore it, and then I'll find the colors another time. Color what you can color, right? Okay. I got all purple erasers. Okay. Philip, can you grab me that poster right there? It's taped to the whiteboard. Wait, which one? Right there, on the whiteboard. It says Bray. Okay. How are we doing over there, vocabulary? Are you done? If you guys are done with the vocabulary words, are you done with the vocabulary words? So what are you guys working on? You're on Mayan. What are you on, Jaisha? What are you on, Mayan? What are you on, Chloe? Okay. The one right there on the whiteboard, taped. Turn left, right in front of the camera. To the left. Look, turn, turn, turn. Right there. <laughs> All right, stay on task, please, Jaisha. All right. Hey, Joseph, if you're on my own, don't you need headphones? So where they should, should they be? Thank you. All right, let's do this one. Okay, can I read it out loud? Ray always carry his flute with him. He shined it every night and was very careful with it. He did not want anything to happen to it. Okay, so let's look at our poster. We're going to use our background knowledge and clues from the selection. What I like to do, I don't want you to draw a picture. Remember how should our markers be? Thank you, Leolani. What I want you to do is first, usually as a reader, I find the evidence first before I use my background knowledge. What is the evidence that we know right now? What are some pieces of evidence? Yes, Kei Kailoa. Right. He always carry his flute with Okay, him. so he has a flute with him. What else? Yes, Larry? He shined it every night. He shined it every night. Okay. So we know he has a flute. He's shining it every night. What other clues do we have? He didn't want anything to happen to it. He didn't want anything uh, to happen to it. Okay. Any other clues? He was careful with it. He was careful with it. Okay, so these are the evidence. The author is telling us this. But to make an inference, we have to use these what? clues to tell me more about Ray. Mm -hmm. So what do you know about Ray then, without the author telling you? Without what the author is telling you? No, this is what just is for us together, okay? To so the evidence, what is the evidence that we have in, in this text? Ooh, he, shined it. he shined it every night. Flute. He has a flute. Careful. He's careful. And, and he, he didn't, didn't want anything to happen. Okay, so they're the things that authors are telling us. That's thin. What's the thick reading about it? What do we want, what can we infer about Ray? What do we know about Ray that the author isn't telling us? Okay, I want you to turn and talk to your partner and tell him what some things about Ray. Um, about he, doesn't, he doesn't want to give so it to like anybody. Like, he's like, 
break it. Yeah. He really yeah, wants it. Maybe he has it. practice. He so maybe he practices his flute? So what can you tell me about? What does he practice? He, he practices like maybe with his other group. Okay, okay. So what do we know about Ray? What do we know about Ray? Yes? We know that, um, we know that he Joseph. is, he will be, he loves his flute. Flute, he loves much. his flute. Does it say he loves his flute? No. What's the inference that he's, he, he, he loves? He shined every night. He, he, that's the evidence. Would you shine something you didn't no. love? No. Um, yeah, so we know that he loves his flute. What else do we know about Ray? He know, we know that he, pra he practices it. Maybe. Yeah. Does it say he practices it? Uh -uh. No. But would you, why, would, why did you think he practiced it? What pra prior, prior he, knowledge did you use? I, because... It says he always carry it with him. Yeah. Would you Maybe he would go to practice. Yeah, so he's going to practice and he likes to practice. So we know he loves his flute. He carries his flu flute. <laughs> um, so what kind, how would you describe Ray? What kind of student? If you had to say one of our core values about him, what would you give him? Mm. Hey, painters, what's happening over there? We need to be more on task, please. Yes. That? He's respectful, right? He's respectful oh, towards yeah. his flute. And how do you oh, know he's respectful? Because he has Kuliana. And respon yeah, and, and he's responsible. Does he have Kuliana? He's responsible. Yeah, yeah responsible what's, what's because, because he's keeping he it and he doesn't want anyone to Yeah, is he like, is he being he messy with it? Is he, yeah. yeah, Yeah. so we know that Ray is responsible. We know he loves his flute and he practices a lot. Maybe his mom wants him to keep, keep maybe his mom wants him because he to forgive. Yeah. Okay, so were there clues that they gave a gift though? No. So we want to kind of stick to the clues that we know already, right? If it said he opened a box, you know, maybe if they gave us clues that he got it for his birthday. But we just want to use the things that link us to the evidence here. Okay? All right. So now, what I want you to do is on your whiteboards, did you see how I wrote, I circle, I, I, yes. I um, underlined the evidence? Mm -hmm. You can't underline these cards because I'm going to use them again for tomorrow. Hi, sweetheart. Um, okay, Ayana, you're in this group today, but I want you to join your Lexia group, and then um, I will, I'll pull you the next day. Okay? Um, so I underlined this, the circles, I mean, I underlined the evidence. What I want you guys to do is write the evidence down on your paper. You don't need to use your full sentences. So, if, so yeah, so what I would have done, if this was my card, I would have wrote, he shined. I would have just wrote shined. I would have wrote flute. Don't write, don't I would have wrote careful. Yeah, don't, w this is just notes for your evidence for when I ask you what was your evidence, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to make an inference about the character. So you don't need to write your inference, I just want to see your evidence on this board. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Oh, the only so turn and talk to your partner, what are you going to do on this board? We are going to write the evidence from the evidence. Just not the Do you write the, um, the inference? Do not write your inference, we'll share the inference, okay? No inference. Okay. Nothing except. Do we do it with our partners? Mm, um, you, you're going to do this by yourself, okay? And then... I guess. Oh, these are some... Oh, because it says it Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead and work on it. This one is hard. Yeah. Okay, what did I say about things being hard? You Just gotta work hard. Gotta work hard and I'll help you, okay? So look for, first thing is, remember what I like to do is I like to look for the evidence first. What do we know for sure? Hmm. Jacob, please be on task. Be on task, please. Shazen, what are you working on? Okay, you should only be coloring what you drew, okay? So draw some more. You may draw. If you finished already, you may work on a chapter book, your reading log, if you're done painting. But I need you to work on it. I need you to use your time wisely. Okay. Okay. So what? What are your clues? Um, loud. Okay. So hit right loud. What else? Um, excitement. Mm-hmm. What else? Wars. 
Okay, so where is a place that's loud, excitement? There's other clues, there's more, there's Maybe. other clues there that help you to figure out what the setting is. Maybe Try to figure out the setting, okay? Can I see yours? Hmm. I'm going to give you two since you finished early. Do you erase this one? No, just put a line and then put it underneath, okay? Can I see Sue? Bradley on task, please. Take another minute, and if you did not finish, we will help you through yours. So, what do you know about yours? Um, there's poke holes. Okay, so think about what are you going to poke holes in? If you get stuck, think about the setting first. Where do you think they might be? So, where's your setting? You're missing one big clue, though. There's a lot of places that have these things. Yeah, so where would you, where, what, where Maybe is that? Just don't say it out loud, write it. Oh. Does it, it's okay. Where are they? Uh. It's, it explicitly says it, where are they? Inside or outside? Um, inside? Where does it say they're inside? Because they, they went outside to look around the yard. So where are they, inside or outside? It's, oh, we have to write if inside or outside. They went outside. So where did they go? Um, they went outside. So where did they go? In, they inside or outside? Outside. So they're outside. Okay, so we know that's a clue. Right outside's a clue. And what are they doing outside? What do they have with them? Jars. Okay, jars with what? Holes. That's a big clue too. So what could you be doing with jars with holes? Okay, let's take a, let's put our, our boards down. We will help you finish yours, okay bud? All right, who wants to go first? Larielle, will you read yours? Definitely. I have a second one. Okay. Read your, read your clue first, please. Oh. With clippers in one hand and scissors in another, Chris was ready to begin task. He put a cape over the small children. Okay, what are the what's the evidence? Scissors and clippers, and, and he began, and the cape over the child. So what is happening? I that he's gonna do a little play or something. Would you agree or disagree with that? What evidence is there that shows you they're not doing a play? Who knows the evidence say that they're not doing a play? Yeah? That there's scissors and clippers. So yeah, you get to make the scissors like, like a I, dress. I, I said um, it would be a play because you need to get stuff ready with scissors yeah, and clippers. That's what I would do. Do you wear a cape though when you get in a, in a play usually? No. You can. You can. You can. But think about it. Can you reread it again? When with clippers. Clippers in one hand and scissors in the other. Okay, so think about it. The guy's holding clippers and scissors. Where are you Ooh. when you have clippers? Do I ever wear clippers and scissors? <laughs> do you know what clippers are? Where do you use clippers on? Your hair. Your hair. Oh. So you use clippers on your hair. Oh, so you have scissors. So where is this person? Maybe she's at the um, haircut. A haircut. What's the oh, evidence? So oh, because cape. You wear the cape for mm -hmm. your hair. Get that. Yep. Yep. Good job. Found it. The, All right. I hear a loud thwack. 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 Mm -hmm. As the ball flies Jacob, use your time. high in the air, the crowd wars with excitement. I run fast before the the ball is brought back. Maybe he's at a basketball game. Agree or disagree? Mm. Why would you disagree with that? Because in a basketball game, you don't hear a thwack. You don't have, hear a thwack. Only if Wait, wait, wait. So think about it, Kekai. You hear a loud thwack. What sport has a thwack in it? Do we hear a lot of thwacks? That's not dribbling. Volleyball? 
volleyball? No. Who can help Kekai out? Baseball. Baseball. What is yeah. making the thwack, Kekai? In baseball. The ball flies. The ball, but what is making the thwack sound? It's a high in the air. Is the high in the air making the I thwack sound? Thwack. What makes the thwack sound? So we already know it's baseball, but what... The author isn't telling you what's making the thwack sound. You have to infer what is making the thwack sound. Think about it in baseball. Think here, use your prior knowledge. What's making the thwack sound? What makes a loud sound in baseball? Like when they hit the ball. When they hit the ball. With the, With the what? The, With what, Kikai? Oh, the bat. The bat. So where it's is that? Like a loud, exciting. So where is that person, sweetheart? The baseball game. You're right, at the baseball game. Okay, who hasn't shared yet? Huh? Who hasn't shared yet? Okay, let's be still then and show that person we're carrying. Go ahead. I see bubbles, but I see my... I hear my own breathing. There are fish swimming above me. I feel the sea swaying. So where are you? Well, what's the evidence? That there are bubbles rising. You can hear your own breathing. And there are fish above swimming and you can feel seeds. Swimming. So what is that person doing? Maybe scuba diving. Why scuba diving and not snorkeling? Because in scuba diving you go deeper. Mm -hmm. And the fish are above or below him? Above. Mm -hmm. So when you're snorkeling the fish are above. below you, right? Because you're on top. But oh. when you're scubaing the fish are on top of you. And that was a, a good clue. Okay, whose turn? I. Okay, go ahead. Yep. Oh. The boys poked holes in the lids of the jars. They went outside to look around the yard. There's one, said Bobby. There, now let's find one for you. So what do we know? Maybe those the, are frogs. They... What do we know? What's the evidence? They're outside. They're outside. What else do they have? They have I see three people not paying attention, so show me that they're listening. You can help them. They have poked holes. They have poked holes. Mm. In what? What do they poke holes in? In jars. In jars. So think about it. If you're outside and you have poked holes in jars, what do you think you're doing? Mm. Can somebody help him? Um, I can. I think that he's poking holes in a jar for so um an animal or a frog can breathe. Oh, maybe a So they're what? Are, what action are they doing? Um, catching something. Catching something. Okay. Let's share one more, and then I'm actually going to give you guys one more um, oh, to do by yourself. By yourself. Go ahead, sweetheart. A blazing desert there is a fabulous garden. A dusty pool of water was left under his head. Frosty had told them he would be back next year, but they <coughs> missed him very much. So what's happening there? We shouldn't be racing right now, right? Our hands should be still. What do we know? Hold on. Sorry, you boys are distracting me. Still. Thank you. What's gone? So what's happening in there? <coughs> Who is Frosty? The boy. Is, can a friend? But we know that he's sad, and there's a pool of water. The boy. So what is Frosty? Oh, Frosty is a snowman. Is a snowman, yeah, right? Because next year, that's when Christmas is coming. Right? Because it's going to be snow. snow. Oh. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Um, oh, snow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys... One more. Um, I want an easy one. Actually, you know what? These were yesterday. Chloe and Jaysha made some. So let's read Chloe's and Jaysha's and do them together. Okay? Can I have you guys... I'm just going to stack your boards up here. Just because. Yes, bud. Stack them right in the middle. You sure? Okay. Erase it. Go ahead and erase. Put it inside. They forgot to erase it. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Let's put our markers in. Away. So I'm going to read this clue to you. This is. So your classmates created these inference cards, okay? And then I'm going to give you guys a chance to try to make one by yourself. Okay? So. 
I was talking to my friends when the teacher was talking. I was not paying attention when the teacher is teaching. What's going to happen? Um, she's going to get in trouble. I have to move her quick. Does it say that the teacher's going to she's going to get in trouble? Yeah, but what some schools might have no clips. Okay, but use what you know. She might get in trouble. She'll get in trouble, right? Why is she going to get in trouble? Because she was talking to her friend and not paying attention. She was take, talking to her friend and not paying attention. So you use the evidence. She was talking to her friends, not paying attention. You know in your head that if you're not talking to someone, your eye should be on me. If you're talking to someone when I'm talking, will you get in trouble? Yes. Okay. So her card was getting in trouble in class. Okay. Let's do another one. She has a... Oh, she has a bathing suit on and she is moving. Her hands are, are moving and she is kicking. Her feet is in the water. There is sand. What is happening here? Would you agree that this is the action that she's trying to describe? Oh, she's kicking her feet and she's moving her oh, maybe arms. She's so what is she doing? Floating. She's Would you agree with Keikai that it's, that's floating? Because if, if you were kicking your legs, you're like going deep and deep and deep. So is that floating though? So what action is she doing? She's kicking and she's swimming. She's kicking and she's swimming, okay. Um, we're out of time, but um, what's your center tomorrow? What? Vocabulary? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is I want you to try to create one of these inference cards yourself. Okay? So um, tomorrow during centers, can you grab a card from me? Mm -hmm. And then I will let you work in partners, okay?